down. Better late than never, Hogan. What's your name? Sharp. Sergeant. 2nd Battalion, 95th Rifles, sir. I'm much obliged to you. You did me a damn good turn. Now I'm going to do you a damn bad one. I'm giving you a field commission, Sharp. From this moment on, you're a lieutenant in the 95th. Major Hogan, meet Mr. Sharp. Congratulations. Capital choice, sir. The minute I saw him, I looked. Hogan says, I that fellow don't seem much, but he's a natural-born officer. Of course, uh, you know, Sir Arthur, he'll need a mentor. Hogan, you keep your hands off him. Hogan is an officer on, uh, <clears throat> on my staff. Your colonel will be informed. I request that light duties till his wound be healed. Good day to you both. Light duty, sir. Light duties it is, absolutely. See here, Sharp. Light duties mean staying at headquarters and being snubbed by snobs. How would you like me to find you something else? As long as it's safe, sir. That's my boy. So the bankers won't budge. Afraid not, Sir Arthur. We need to find Rothschild. I'd like to suggest we add that fellow Sharp to Dunnett's search party. I make a man an officer today, and you want me to send him into the mountains tomorrow. Have you no heart, Hogan? No, sir. We need somebody to command Dunnett's sharpshooters, and Sharp will be much happier up in the mountains than up in the mess. 
You know the problem, Sir Arthur. Not one of us. Lawford, let me see him. Lieutenant Sharp. Lieutenant Sharp, sir. Where did you get the uniform, Sharp? Major Hogan, sir. What's that, Sharp? It's a shilling, sir. The King's shilling, Sharp. Our last shilling. London's late, the army's broke, and we owe the lads two months' wages. Next week it'll be three. Bad for the morale. Mm -hmm. And more of our Spanish irregular support will melt away without cash. What do you do when you're short of cash, Sharp? Do without, sir. You borrow, Richard, from a bank. Our banker is Nathan Rothschild of London. Nathan's brother James runs a banking service from Vienna to Lisbon under Boney's nose. Ten weeks ago, James set out from Vienna with the bank draft. He was to travel across France, across the Pyrenees, and into Spain, and make a rendezvous at a place called Casa Antigua. James Rothschild never turned up. But don't... Don't tell me James is a banker traveling across a country at war. James is no clerk. He's done this before. We know he got safely to Torre Castro, and from there headed south, and is somewhere in these mountains. So, we're going to send out a search party led by... Dunnett. Major Dunnett. It means going a hundred miles into occupied French territory. <sighs> Care to come along, Sharp? But... Good. Tomorrow, I go on ahead, alone. Attracts less attention. Also gives me a chance to make contact with my Spanish agents who are out searching too. A small special force of rifles attached to Dunnett's force will travel a day behind in case I need help. <coughs> That's where you come in, Richard. I want you to command the sharpshooters. Sir Arthur. The men you will be commanding must know nothing of this mission, in case of capture. That is a secret shared between you and your superior officers, Major Dunnett and Captain Murray. Whatever happens, one of you must get through to Casa Antigua. You'll find them camped about three miles north of here. They like to live rough. <laughs>